The cube turns inside out. Your eyes are deceiving you. This is actually an optical illusion. Like a playing card, but move my hand forward and see that the room is just, whoa, wavy. What's good? Welcome back to How to Magic. Oh, magic! I am your host, Evan Era. Today I'm showing you seven magic optical illusions that will trick your brain. Do you want my head to explode? So if you're ready, hit that thumbs up button for me and let's go. This is the magic cube. You can see it's sitting on the clipboard just like this. But check this out. This is actually just an optical illusion. As you can see, it's actually an inverted half shell of a cube, and I'll teach you how to make this right now. All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal a secret. The secret to this trick is extremely simple, and I'll teach you how it's done right now. Here's what you'll need to create this at home. You're going to need some tape, three sheets of paper that are cut into equal squares, and a couple pens. You're going to take your pen and draw lines on the paper to divide it up into 16 equal sections. Take your marker and color in every other block so you get a nice checkerboard pattern. Once you have the other two colored in, you are ready to assemble your illusion cube. You want to make sure you have all three of the white corners together in the middle. Flip them over onto the back. Use your tape to join them just like this. Now that we have the sides taped in place, you can see the illusion of the cube starting to take shape. Get it? Take shape? <laughs> Hashtag dad jokes. Uh, so once you have it all taped together, you're going to affix this to a platform. You could just hold it in your hand like that if you want. But if you affix it to a platform like this, it really enhances the illusion. You can move this back and forth all around. And it really does trick your brain into thinking that there is a cube sitting right there and then you see the side of it and it is just a total mind blow. The reason this is happening is because the design, the checkerboard design and the lines of the cube are actually creating an optical illusion illusion that fools your eye into thinking that this is a 3D image. And it is, but it's actually in the opposite direction. Okay, tell me what animal you see on this silk scarf. Leave it in the comments down below. What animal do you see on the silk scarf? But this is actually an optical illusion. What animal do you see now? This is a classic optical illusion. This direction, the image appears to be a bunny rabbit. But if you flip it like this, now it appears to be a duck. This is just one of those unique images that when viewed from one angle appears to be one thing and then flip the other way and viewed from a different angle it now appears to be a completely different animal. Stay tuned for the end of this video if you want to win the magic rabbit to duck silk. I'm gonna give this away in this week's giveaway to one lucky viewer. This next one is an interactive optical illusion that will blow your mind. I'm going to put a moving image up on the screen just stare directly in the center of the screen and try not to look away. So here we go. Don't take your eyes off the center of the screen starting now. So you can see the image is a bunch of moving lines. Just stay staring right in the center of the screen. And kind of let your eyes just focus right there on the screen. Don't look at anything else. Play some nice relaxing music while you do this. So I'm gonna let you continue looking at the screen. Just keep your eyes on the image and I'll let you know when it's time to look away. off the screen and look around your room. It should look like reality is just magically warping around you. The room is just, whoa, wavy. This is one of the most mind-blowing optical illusions and I'll tell you how it works right now. This actually happens because it's literally tricking your eyes. It's the definition of an optical illusion. The same way when you look at a very bright light and then you look at something else and you kind of see tracers of that light still, the moving lines of the image distort your perception even after you look away from it because it takes your eye a minute to adjust back to normal. My eyes! They're actually 
three different types of optical illusions. The first is a literal optical illusion. A good example of this is the duck and rabbit trick that we showed earlier in this video, where the image is created to look like two different things at the same time. Think of it like a reversible figure. It's called a literal illusion because it is literally based on your own perception where both things exist and it's really just what you focus on. The second type of optical illusion is a psychological optical illusion. These type of optical illusions are a little more complex because they involve tricking the brain. Here's a few examples of physiological illusions. All of these look like moving video images, but they're actually not. Believe it or not, these are still images. You can even pause the video if you don't believe me, and it will still appear as though these images are moving. All of these images trick your brain using illusory motion. It's an optical illusion in which a static image appears to be moving due to the cognitive effects of interacting color contrast, object shapes, and position. Your eyes see so much color or movement or light that the brain is overstimulated and gets confused. Get confused. And the third type is a cognitive optical illusion. Unlike other optical illusions, the cognitive optical illusion relies on your subconscious mind. In short, what you see in the illusion actually tells a lot about your own thinking and how you relate one object to another. A perfect example of this is this classic vase illusion where it looks like a vase but it can also appear to be two faces and depending on which one you see first it actually says a lot about you. So those are the three types of optical illusions. The warping reality trick that you just saw falls into the category of a physiological optical illusion because the moving image on the screen those lines are tricking the brain into believing that impression that has been left on the retina is still visible in the space around us once we look away from the screen what and it's just it's really fun to do you can go back and watch this again if you want to warp reality around you again show it to other people it is such a really cool and weird thing to experience so be sure to share this with someone or show it to a friend check this out i have a glass sitting on the palm of my hand but this is actually an optical illusion your eyes are deceiving you look actually a giant glass sitting on the table. This is called a forced perspective illusion. I'm gonna teach you how to set up this amazing trick at home right now. One of the easiest ways to set up a forced perspective illusion is to take an object that is larger than life, something jumbo, a giant thing, and put it in the background while you stand in the foreground. Now we position our hand to make it look like it's a regular sized bottle. You can see it's just sitting on the table in the background. We raise, lower the hand until we get it just right where it looks like it is a regular sized bottle of Hershey's syrup sitting on my hand. And then we get this really cool effect of stepping backwards and revealing that it is a giant bottle. You can do this exact same thing with a miniature version of something. Like here, you can see it looks like I'm holding just a standard sized deck of playing cards, but move my hand forward, you can see this is actually a mini deck. Available now at EvanEraTV.com. And that works exactly the same as the other force perspective trick with the giant thing. And that you're gonna put this a little bit closer to the camera so it appears bigger and my hand is going to be further back. So now this very small thing looks like it's normal size. Until your perspective is changed by me being at the exact same viewing distance as the object. Which changes your perspective and gives it scale. Okay, this one blows my mind every time I see it. So this is a classic optical illusion. It's the gray block. So you can see there are two blocks here, a light color gray one and a dark color gray one. But would you believe me if I told you that both of these blocks are exactly the same color? I know, it's crazy. If you don't believe me, check this out. I will prove it to you. The image is not changed. You can rewind this video if you need to. Take your finger and put it over the middle line that divides the two blocks. Put it on the screen right now and you will see that both of the blocks are the exact same color gray. It all has to do with the shading and the background color around each one of the blocks. It just goes to show you how much color and shading can influence our perception. That even though both of these blocks are exactly the same color, they really appear different shades of gray. This is a great example of a physiological optical illusion in that the shading, the color, all of that tricks our brain into perceiving this a way that it actually isn't. Fascinating magic science. All right, guys, 
that is it for this video. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button and share it with somebody you think might like it too. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you see all of our videos. There are new episodes of How To Magic just like this every single week. Head over to EvanEraTV.com. That is my online magic shop. The link for that is in the description at EvanEraTV.com. We ship magic tricks all over the world. We have stuff for beginners all the way to professionals. Check out the link at EvanEraTV.com in the description of this video. And it is giveaway time. I'm giving away the magic rabbit duck trick to you. All you have to do for a chance to win this week's giveaway is leave a comment in the comment section down below and be subscribed to the channel. Leave your comments in the comment section and I will be going through picking a random comment and mailing out the magic to you. Time to announce the giveaway winners from our last How To Magic video. The winners are appearing on the screen right here. Congratulations to our winner. Instructions on how to claim your prize are in the description of the video. Until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.